Hey beautiful souls, it's Susan here. If you haven't met me already, I am a transformational coach and qualified therapist and today I will be sharing some insights, guidance and advice on how to get out of your head. So you will get something out of this video if you find that you get in your head a lot and you're quite, you can't seem to switch your mind off. Oh, it's a big topic. I don't, okay, it's a big topic getting out of your head. Um, first of all, there's a difference between being unconsciously stuck in your head and consciously stuck in your head. So if you're consciously stuck in your head and it's, and it's because you're, you're choosing, you're choosing to actually think, you're choosing to be in that space of thinking a lot, um, you are choosing, you're in a space where you actually want to be in your head. Because you might be brainstorming business ideas, um, you might be, yeah, just figuring some a solution out to a problem you currently have. But if you are unconsciously always just in your head and stuck in your head, then it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're just having so many thoughts and you feel disconnected. It's only a problem when you are feeling you're not able to enjoy life, you're not able to connect with others, you're not able to be present even when you want to be. You're not able to meditate for more than one minute <laughs> and it's painful. Um, yeah, then that could mean you are stuck in my, stuck in your head, my dear. <laughs> stuck in your head. And that's okay. A lot of people get stuck in their head. There's lots of reasons why they might be stuck in their head. Uh, one of it is overstimulation. There's so much stimulation in this world. Television, mobile phones, iPads, laptops, it just doesn't end, you know, this, we are in an information era. So turn those things off. That's one of the things I would suggest first is to detox from excess information in your life. If you are processing so much and you're feeling quite full in your mind and there's a lot going on, then I do recommend that you just turn off, you go on a bit of a detox and turn off your phone and your laptop and technology even for half a day and just experience life without it that might seem very uncomfortable at first but when you surrender to it and you go outside you breathe in the fresh air and you start to yeah become aware of what's really around you and how you're really feeling it's so healthy it can bring about such a grounding balance in your life it's so important so another reason why um, you might be in your head is because there is repressed emotion and trauma that has not been dealt with and it's just waiting for you to feel it and if you have resistance towards emotional discomfort and pain then you're most likely going to get in your head because that's a lot more comfortable and feels safer for you than to feel your emotions and to feel what's underneath the thoughts which could be a deep trauma um and you got to be gentle with yourself when it comes to that because there is a time and place for trauma to be felt and released and processed and let go of. And depending on how intense the trauma is, you could try and do it by yourself. But and the positive of that is that, well, it can be quite empowering for you if you have the tools and knowledge around how your emotions work and you have tools to help you with that process. But it can also be risky in that if it's too much you might do the opposite of healing the trauma and you might go to the next extreme of running away from it and that could mean dissociation that could mean doing things that numb yourself completely um that could mean yeah getting into some sort of addiction um because you just don't want to feel it it's just too painful and I understand that process so much. I understand it. I really understand how uncomfortable, deep child, especially childhood trauma, it runs so deep. It's like shaped who you are. If you're an adult and you're finally realizing these things, it's like, wow, it goes so deep. Um, it just feels like, where do you start? And how do you process all of that? Well, the good thing is you don't have to do it alone. There are qualified therapists and healers and practitioners out there that can help you move through your emotions bits at a time in a safe contained space so, so if the therapist is doing it in a way that honors your sensitivities they will meet you where you're at and your safety will come first so you don't have to 
push yourself to your limit and you know learning how to regulate your nervous system is so key before you go into any of this work um yeah so watch my next video if you want to learn how to regulate your emotions um so yeah so that could be a reason why you're just so stuck in your head uh it's because there's something that you could be running away from now another reason is another reason why so a way to get out of that is to look at the root cause beneath beneath those emotions look at the root cause no look at the root cause beneath those non non-stopping thoughts what's the emotion behind it what's the emotion behind it what's the what's the core what's underneath all of it and be willing to go there and another way because once that root emotion and that root wound and that root trauma is pulled out and given to a light and you, you shine your light on it which is your full consciousness and your love and your heart um it dissipates it dissolves and then you realize there's just so much more space in your body and your energy and your emotions are flowing more um smoothly you know it's not getting stuck anywhere and the emotions aren't as intense and your thoughts aren't running crazy aren't go, going wild anymore because you found safety and ground and groundedness within with your past and and you've just you're more grounded and you feel more safe in your body because there could be a part of you that doesn't fully feel safe to be in its body because of the repressed trauma and what's stored in it so it is a bit of a it's like an emotional psychic surgery and energetic surgery whenever trauma is released so beautiful so powerful so another way to get out of your head is to do embodiment work is to get into um embodiment practices so this is anything that is focused on you connecting with yourself connecting with your senses your emotions dance is a way but dance from an embodied place dancing from a place of being willing to just meet yourself in your in the present moment and and let your body um express itself how it wants to that's one another thing is breath work breath work can be very embodying um you know it brings about so much more oxygen into your body it opens up your energetic body it opens up your emotional field so your emotions can come up and be processed and the key is to keep breathing through it no matter how uncomfortable it gets you just have to breathe through it and let it move through you and another way is yeah there's so many types of meditation but if you want to get out of your head sometimes you need to do meditations that are a bit more active so like qigong qigong tai chi where there's actually some movement um and your senses are being engaged and you're having to yeah like meet the present moment and be guided in some way i, I would really start with guided meditative practices because if you just sit in mindfulness that's gonna that's gonna torture you if you are having a hard time getting out of your head mindfulness meditation and sitting in stillness and doing nothing can be really uncomfortable so be gentle with yourself and start start um yeah just start by allowing yourself to be guided through these meditative practices it can get you out of your head another way is to go to a spa because the spa will put you into your body you know when you go to a sauna and you're sweating and you jump into the cold plunge pool it's like whoa a hot a huge reset for your nervous system and detox is um takes you it detoxes your body as well so you get all these benefits from going to a spa another thing is take a good walk a good long walk in nature and i emphasize nature because the quality of your walk is is affected by the environment that you're walking so if you walk through a city and you're seeing all these signs and there's all these shops and there's all these buy this, buy that, this is on special, that is on special, do you think you're going to really want get out of your head? Or you're going to be thinking, oh, I should buy that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that girl's outfit. Or compare that to just walking in a forest where there's just minimal distractions. There's just nature. It's beautiful. There's so much science behind what going out into nature and looking at trees can do for you.
oxytocin dopamine baby yeah yeah get that dopamine in the nature let yourself receive that dopamine from those trees and breathe in the fresh air the fresh air there's no pollution no cars around and you get to breathe in that fresh air so good for your body so good for your skin your lungs Mm, I love nature. This is why I live in a yurt. I live in a Mongolian yurt um, in an eco village. And this is my, I should probably show you what I look at when, when I'm not. Um, but anyway, so that is the view. If you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it is really beautiful. And my room is a bit of a mess right now, but you can see that I've got a lot of trees and my selenite and my plants. Yeah, I try and bring in as much plants and nature into my life. It actually helps me get out of my head because it's so beautiful. Like I look at a plant, I'm like, oh my goodness, look at that plant. So beautiful. So beautiful. I just want to mm, cuddle them and I just send them so much love all the time and they send me so much love. Nature's alive. It's got intelligence. It's got an ecosystem. It's got a... Yeah, there's just it's fascinates me so much. Anyway, off topic. Ha <laughs> <sighs> so do you have any other tips and guidance and advice around how to get out of your head? Share them below. Of course there's a lot more, but I'm not gonna make this video too long. So yeah, um comment below and thank you for watching.